Though November Novices Chase, it's the first race of the day for week five. And up at the top we've got Hollywood U for Hollywood Hinton. Hustle, Play School, The Perfect Match, Toyzo Valley, Young Falcon, Arctic Dew, Colossus Future, the seven or two favourites, Slaney Fox for Ghost Sappers and Summer Island for Jim Murray. Racing. Them sort themselves out, and the favourite takes the early lead. Kicking through there is Hollywood U. One thing we've noticed this season is Hollywood's horses have been up on the pace. A bit out wide, we've got Summer Island. Arctic Dew is up there as well. Also, Hustle, the perfect match. They take the next. Oh, one's dropped the jockey there. It's the perfect match. So, bad luck, Josh. Always. Oh, another one's gone. Play school. Well, it always sucks when your horse is out so early in the race. Then again, it could be worse. It could be falling at the last. So it's Slaney Fox. Comfortable leader going up the hill here. Looks like we're at Cheltenham. Not that I know much about English racing. Yep, we are. Except that uh, Australia has the best sprinters, and we saw that again at Ascot. Didn't think much of that Red Kirk warrior anyway. A bit of a pretender, I thought, in Australia. Won some good G1s, though, but... Yeah, you want to see him win a few more before you start hyping him up. The Merchant Navy. And that'll get sent back to Australia. Don't know if it's going to really help its um, breeding value in Australia. Probably will a little bit. You'd think the average Australian would have liked to have seen a few more Group 1s in Australia on those flint dry tracks. Anyway, we come down now we're to the six and a half furlong. And I'm talking the flat and we're at the hunt. And it's Slaney Fox leading. Colossus Future moves up there with the Arctic Dew. Hollywood U is fourth. Then we have Toyzo Valley and Young Falcon together as they take the next. Splitting them is uh, Summer Island and Hustle. Hmm. The priest just worked, walked past my shop. Up and over the 11th they go and Colossus Future takes the lead but out wider is Summer Island running into the race nicely and Summer Island takes the lead at the three and a half. Uh, Toyzo Valley from the tails uh, sticking on nicely and so too is Hollywood U, Colossus Future, Hustle from the tail. So they come on down to the two and a half, there's two more to get over. It's Summer Island, three quarters to Toyzo Valley, up and over they go, jumped it fast, the leader. They runs on down to the last one and a half furlongs to go and Summer Island's in front and has skipped over it like Skippy the Kangaroo. And Summer Island at the furlong is just uh, almost two lengths clear of Toyzo Valley who's not giving in and neither is Hustle. So they come on down to the line. And Summer Island is our winner from Toyzo Valley. Hustle third, Hollywood U fourth, Arctic Dew fifth. And coming in Young Falcon. Jim Murray, congratulations, a nice winner there. Summer Island, second, Toyzo Valley for Darren Thompson. Third, Hustle, Paul Rhodes. Fourth is Hollywood U for Derek Hinton. And fifth was Arctic Dew for Thunderspark.